Hi Kinder! Happy graduation week! I can't believe you guys are almost graduating this coming Friday! Well, for this week, I thought I would read a fun book that is about graduation since you all are going to be graduating soon too. So, the book I'm going to be reading is called A Balloon for Isabel, written by Deborah Underwood, illustrated by Laura Rinkin. I want you to make a prediction. What do you think the story is going to be about? I heard someone say maybe a porcupine that wants to get some balloons. Good guess. Maybe it's going to be about a balloon that flies away. Let's read and find out. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. A balloon for Isabel. No fair, said Isabel. Yeah, no fair, said Walter. It was two days before graduation. Hmm. I wonder what they think is not fair. In two days, the possums, the raccoons, and all the other animals would get balloons, but not porcupines. And Isabel wanted a balloon more than anything in the world. Huh. I wonder, why do you think all these other animals are going to get balloons, but not the porcupines? Why do you guys think that? I heard someone say that maybe it's because of the spikes that they have. Yeah, porcupines have these spiky little things. These are called quills. Can everyone say quills? Quills are the little spiky things. And what do you think might happen to a balloon if it gets close to a porcupine's quill? Yeah, it might pop. So maybe that's why the teacher's like, no, porcupines can't have balloons. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I don't think that's fair either. Miss Quill smiled patiently. I'm sorry, but balloons are not safe for porcupines. Porcupines will each get a lovely bookmark. But we already have Halloween bookmarks and Valentine bookmarks, and soon you will have a graduation bookmark, said Miss Quill. Isabel and Walter sat together at lunch. Can I have your broccoli, asked Walter. I got jelly beans again. I wish my dad owned a candy shop, said Isabel. <laughs> That's so funny, Walter's dad owns a candy shop. Do you think he likes eating candy? Not so much, huh? Probably because he has it too often. So they're trading. He's trading candy for something healthier. Isabel gazed out the window. Sally told me that when you first get a balloon, it can bounce on a ceiling. And if you pull the string and you let it go, it makes a soft thumpy sound, she said. Seems like Isabel really wants a balloon because she's daydreaming about it. I heard that after a few days, a balloon floats halfway between the ceiling and the floor, said Walter, and it just hangs there like a ghost. Then it shrivels up so that you could put it in an empty olive jar with your other good stuff, said Isabel. A bookmark just sits there, said Walter. We have to get the balloons, said Isabel. I will think of a plan. What do you guys think the plan will be? Maybe she's going to be sneaky and take it. I hope not, but should we figure out what the plan is? Let's see. The next day, during graduation song practice, Isabel raised her paw. May the porcupines have balloons if we promise to be careful, said Is Isabel. Porcupines plus balloons equals... Miss Quill wrote something on the board. Porcupines plus balloons equals, what do you guys think? Fun, maybe? Let's see. Equals happiness, said Isabel. Trouble, said Miss Quill. If a balloon popped on your quills, it would scare you. I'm not scared of anything except the vacuum cleaner, said Isabel. Then it would scare someone else, said Miss Quill. Walter raised his paw. It would not scare me. A popped balloon can fly through the air and hit someone in the eye, said Miss Quill. We could wear goggles, said Isabel. That is enough, said Miss Quill. 
I know you would like balloons. I would like one too, but graduation bookmarks are very nice and that is what porcupines get. Was that your plan? Asked Walter. It wasn't my only plan, said Isabel. So she asked nicely and it didn't work. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think she's going to do? Should we look? Let's see. The next morning, Isabel wore her pop stopper to breakfast, but she got stuck in the doorway. <laughs> look, it's a pop stopper because she has a box around her quill so that they won't pop the wounds. Pretty good idea. But she got stuck in the door. At recess, Isabel and Walter strapped pillows onto each other, but their quills poked the pillows to pieces. Aw, pillows didn't work. At lunchtime, Isabel wrapped Walter in packing bubbles, but the other kids tried to pop him. Popping those are pretty fun, huh? And that's what all the other kids are doing. Only one more day, Walter said sadly, as they picked up their graduation caps. I'll think of something, Isabel said, but inside she wasn't too sure. Oh no, do you think Isabel would think of a solution? Will she be able to fix her problem? Let's see. That evening, Isabel went to Walter's for a cookout. You sure have a lot of candy, she said. I know, Walter said. If you ever got a balloon, what color would it be? Asked Isabel. Green, said Walter, like broccoli. It's probably his favorite, huh? I will get red, said Isabel, like a red. <gasps> I have an idea. What do you think her idea is? Should we find out? Let's see. The next day, the door to Miss Quill's classroom flew open. We're pop proof, shouted Isabel. Now, Mimi had the balloons. <laughs> Look at Isabel. How is she pop proof? What's on her quills? Yeah, she used the gumballs from Walter's cookout. Pretty good idea. Miss Quill blinked and she stared. She touched one of Isabel's gumdrops with her paw. Hmm, I don't see why not, she said finally. Hooray, said Isabel. Hooray, said Walter and the other porcupines. Are there any gumballs left? Whispered Miss Quill. Why do you think Miss Quill whispered and asked if there were any more gumballs left? Should we find out? Let's see. Are there any gumballs left? Whispered Miss Quill. No porcupine at graduation was happier than Isabel. Except maybe one. <laughs> so Miss Quill was whispering that because she wanted a balloon too. The end. Alrighty, my friends. So just like Isabel and all the porcupines, I'm sure you're so excited for your graduation too. So we'll get to do a little art where you'll get to make balloons for everyone. Just like Isabel, how she came up with a solution so that porcupines can get balloons. You're gonna get to draw your classmate and some balloons for, to celebrate your guys' graduation. Okay, I'll show you in a second. Alrighty, for our art today, I was thinking we could do some painting. So if you have paints, grab that. If not, what you can do to make paint is, we've done this before, grab aluminum foil. You'll need some markers, you will need some crayons, you'll need Q-tips, you'll need a cup of water, so make sure you fill it up with some water, and then last but not least, you'll need a white piece of paper. Okay, if you're ready to make it, grab your things and we'll get started. Alrighty, before we get started painting, we're first going to have to draw our characters. So. You're gonna get to draw a picture of all your favorite friends who are graduating this year. So first, I'll draw myself. So here's Miss Fam. 
Give myself some long curly hair. And then who else are my friends? Maybe I'll also draw Misconception. Here's Misconception. Here's a little bit shorter. Maybe I'll draw Miss Yi. Here's Miss Yi. She likes to have her hair in a bun sometimes. I'll give her a bun. And then maybe I'll also draw Miss Wynn. She has shorter hair. And then over here, I'll draw Miss Park. Maybe I'll give her a ponytail. Sometimes she has her hair in a ponytail. Give her glasses too. All right, now that I drew my characters, I can add a string to each character to show that they're holding their graduation balloon. Draw, what shape is that everybody? It's a triangle, it has three sides. I'm drawing triangles for the end of the balloon and I'm gonna draw a nice big balloon that I can paint. Then, now that I have my picture drawn out, I can start to paint my picture if I want. But before I do, maybe I'll write congratulations, K3, kindergarten. Congrats, kinder. Now I'm gonna paint. So in order to paint, you're gonna, if you have paints, you can use that. And if you don't, what you can use is your aluminum. So what I'm first gonna do, I'm gonna grab my markers and I'm gonna draw my markers onto the aluminum. So I'll do all the colors so that I have it. So I'll do red. I'm gonna have all the colors colored onto my aluminum. I'm gonna grab my Q-tips and I'm gonna grab my water. What you're gonna do first, you're gonna dip your Q-tip into the water. So let me dip it in the water. Now I'm gonna color in Miss Wynn's balloon. Her favorite color is purple, so I think I'm gonna give her a purple balloon. Dipping in the purple. And then I'm gonna put it onto the paper. And it should look like watercolor paint. Just like that. Dip some more water. And if you run out of color on your aluminum, all you have to do is grab a marker and add more color. Now all my balloons are painted. You can choose to either paint your characters or you can grab crayons to color your characters. I think I'm gonna grab crayons to color my characters. color the characters faces and you can use different skin colors because not everyone's the same color and there you have it there's your graduation picture